It's also concerned tonight about the rising number of possible hate crimes as the war on terror heats up. Tonight, a Muslim leader from Metro Detroit is speaking out. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat sat down with him for an interview you'll see only here on 7, and he joins us live now in Southfield with much more. Simon. Good evening. Tonight, a very candid interview with a leader in the Muslim community who says he himself has been the target of Islamophobia. The images around the world of a growing number of terror incidents carried out by groups like ISIS continue to spark outrage. Here in Metro Detroit, Imam Steve Al Turk leads a coalition of Muslim leaders known as the Imam Council, preaching peace, understanding, and education. The Imam's Council, we have about 30. Imams uh, representing different organizations and congregations in Southeast Michigan. And we do talk about the issue of uh, radicalization and extremism. Imam El Turk also works with the interfaith community, keeping young people on the right path and explaining what Islam is and isn't. Like many of us, he also recognizes the dangers of terror groups seeking to radicalize young men and women over the internet. Youth that do come to the mosques, uh, uh, they are more level headed than uh, perhaps others. Imam El Turk is also no stranger to hate crimes himself. Recently targeted and verbally harassed by neighbors for his Muslim faith. All kinds of uh, slurs and uh, hateful remarks and uh, swear words about uh, myself, my congregation, my religion. Islamophobia is at uh, its unprecedented uh, uh, height uh, right now. And uh, we are doing whatever we can uh, within our communities, working with uh, other interfaith uh, organizations to address the issue of Islamophobia. He also credits the White House and FBI for continuing to crack down on hate crimes. The Detroit FBI now assisting Southfield police to investigate an incident from last Saturday. Police say this man pulled out a knife and stabbed two victims at a Northland Mall bus stop. They say it happened after a dispute that began with him asking his victims if they were Muslim. Thankfully, the victims have since been released from the hospital and the suspect remains in custody. Now, Southfield police say they did also recover narcotics from their suspect and their investigation together with the FBI could last for at least several more weeks. Live in Southfield, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.